Hi, I'm Spermani with Nature Bar for Kids, and in our last video, we learned how to paint snowflakes, but I didn't go into detail about shade and tint and value, and I'd like to do that on this video. So let's get started. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about color theory and how I approach it with young kids. So I'm going to take the color blue because that's our color that we're using for the base of our sky. When I talk about children, I'm talking about ages maybe eight years and up through teen. Um, younger kids may have a hard time understanding the differences between values and tints. So here we go. So I have blue in our palette here. And to show children how to shade and tint, when you shade a color, you're using black. When you tint a color, you're using white. So I'm going to show you how to tint a color. So in order to make a, a a tint, you would take white to the main color. So here I am making a tint of blue and that's going to turn into a very light value of the blue. Now if you want to show kids how to darken that value, you'll take more blue and you'll see that it's transforming it into a darker value of blue. So we're tinting with white. If I wanted to tint it even darker and make that value darker, we'd add more of the blue pigment. And there we go. That is a tinted blue. It's about a medium blue right there. Now I'm going to show you how to shade blue. And shading blue again is with black. I didn't I did mention that in the first video and I had it backwards. I had a chance to review the video and realize I said it backwards, but um, I'm, that's why I'm doing the second video because I want to um, clarify my mistake. I did say it backwards. So tinting, you use white and to shade, you use black. Okay, so now we're going to make a shade and you do a shade with black. So here again, I have my blue and I'll move it over here so you can see it better on the camera. And now in order to shade it darker, you use black. So I'm gonna put some black in the palette. Don't need that much, just a little bit to give you an idea on how to shade. So here I am taking black and adding it to the blue and I'm making it a very deep blue. I don't know if you can see that, but it is darker from here to here. I'm gonna grab a piece of paper and I'm gonna show you the differences. So here is a shaded blue. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. So that is shaded blue. Then I'm gonna show you what the tinted blue looks like. I'm gonna clean up my brush here. So this right here on the top is your shaded blue, added black to it. And this is your tint where we added white to the blue. Now this is just great just to introduce to kids. Color theory takes a lot of time to learn. It takes many years to master. This isn't something I would expect kids to, re to memorize or recall. It's just something you want to get kids familiar with. Um, as you become a better painter, as they grow up and they take on learning lessons for painting, this is, this is basic introduction to color theory. And there you go. That is my little mini lesson on the difference between tinting and shading of value. Okay, so that is my mini introduction to taking a value and turning it into a tint or a shade. And you will be able to find more lessons like this on our website. We have lots coming out. You can check that out at ecokidsart.com um, and follow all our social media. And I'm looking forward to sharing our new videos. Thank you for joining us today.